Hi, welcome to Sugar Free. This is the daily reading for Monday the 22nd of April 2019. It's a bank holiday here in the UK. Um, I remember when I was a child I used to find it mildly puzzling. I was like, why do they call it a bank holiday? It's like the days that the banks are shut, the whole country is shut. <laughs> Of course, that's not the case anymore. Most things are open. Everyone banks online, pretty much. So it's always open. Yay! Isn't that amazing? Anyway, here we go. It's going to be a three-card major O'Connor reading, um, possibly with some clarifiers. And then one from the swords, one from the wands, one from the pentacles, and one from the cups. No, 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 get back in. <laughs> Right, I'll just have one more shuffle. Lovely job. There we go. Right. Woohoo! Justice. Hmm. Right, I think I'm just going to adjust the camera a little bit. There we go. Okay. There's this lovely line along the table here. Line the cards up. Nice and straight. Okay. Justice in the upright. The tower. The wheel of fortune. Wow. <laughs> okay. Um, right. We're coming into the reading feeling the right way up. And with a sense of things being as they should be, uh, which is really good. That's a lovely, lovely place to be. Um, things are not necessarily as they should be, as we see here from the Wheel of Fortune. Fortunes rise, fortunes fall. Um, you know, things come, and when they come, they push out stuff that's already there. And then they go and they create space for new stuff to come in. So it's just a wheel. And it's never the right or the wrong way up. Sitting in the middle of the reading here as the veil, the obscuration, uh, that which is clouding our vision, is the tower. So there's a tension here. I mean, we've got this amazing sort of peaceful angel of justice here. And she's holding the scale, looking very lovingly at the scale there. And, you know, that sword must be quite heavy, but she's got enough core strength to sort of hold it up nice and immobile. So we've got beautiful, equanimous, peaceful things as they should be and and a sense of I would say not even wanting that things be as they are as they should be that but that we feel that they are as they should be today it's quite early in the cycle this card and it's when it's number eight and it's when we um have got far along the road far enough along the road of the um, karmic cycle, whatever it might be, that, you know, having set out and had the idea and set it into motion, sort of, you know, delved into various kind of elements of, of, of progress. By the time we get to card number eight, we're sort of thinking, well, okay, you know, there's this influence and that influence. We've, we've had the, um, the high priestess, we've had the emperor, we've had the empress, we've had the... Um, the Hierophant, all of those sort of big players <laughs> in um, the process of whatever it is that we're doing, whatever it is that's brought you to this reading. And then with card number eight, we get to the point where it's like, well, okay, um, I, could, I see all that, but really things should be this or that way. There's a, it's it's the first time the kind of the should comes into it within ourselves and this sense that the world 
that we're kind of that we're moving through and interacting with um, should be good. But here in this reading, I feel that we feel it is. And yet, and yet, we have the tower here, sitting in the middle, clouding our vision. And, yeah, I, I'm not, I generally, I don't read cards as a kind of predictive thing. You know, this is what's going to happen today. I see the cards more as, I see tarot more as a, a kind of snapshot, as an angle from which, a, a to, to to view things a kind of extra sensory um, context <laughs> through which to view things and there is a real like things are fine but oh my god it could all go wrong at any minute <laughs> um, and we might today be having a challenge in uh, in ourselves between these two things everything's fine but it could all go to shit in 30 seconds flat and yeah it could it could um the fact of the matter <laughs> things as they really are here the final card the wheel of fortune we just don't know so in a sense why bother going okay, things are fine but it could all go to shit but things are fine. But it could all go to shit. Why? Why waste your time? It, it would be a waste of time pushing and pulling between these two things. Um, because, you know, that's your bottom line. In the matter of um, the tower, certainly. I mean, the tower doesn't come because it, it doesn't fall down because it was badly built. And it doesn't fall down because the people who built it were evil. <laughs> it fell down because it was a bolt from the blue. And just looking at this, I'm seeing another bolt. Can you see? The angel there on the top of the wheel is holding this object in his or her right hand with um, lightning bolts coming out of it. Tibetan Buddhism and Buddhism in general has an object like that. It's called a Vajra. I haven't really looked into its significance, despite the fact that I've been chanting Tibetan Buddhist mantra every day for six years. <laughs> I'm actually going to be, I think, becoming a Tibetan Buddhist later this year. Um, there's a Rinpoche, um, a top monk, who comes over. Um, to speak with some people I know up in Kent in the southeast of England. And um, I've kind of made my mind up the next time he comes over, I'm going to go over and see him and, and, and get sworn in because the Tibetan Buddhist um, practices have done me such good over the years. Anyway, so we've got lightning and we've got the, 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 <laughs> the fact that we just, we can't control where and when the lightning strikes we can't control it um no matter how secure we feel on the throne of justice and it, you know fine 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 but just be aware that it can all change in 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 a minute and yeah what i'm getting from this is that the fact that it can all change in, in a minute and all fall down around your ears is potentially the source of some worry and some discomfort um it needn't be it really needn't be because in the face of just not knowing let go let go into the wheel of fortune you know th there's all sorts of elements in play here you know we've got this um this beautiful fragrance being drawn around the movement of this wheel you know the, the, the movement the air moving around the wheel is pulling this beautiful incense smoke up around you know that there, there are compensations and 
We must think more at some point about the significance of this creature, like trying and trying and trying to get up the wheel like a fucking hamster. Anyway, there are compensations. And, um... <laughs> the angel has the Vajra with the energy of, goodness me, anything can happen at any time. But also, on the other side... Can you see that? There's a cornucopia there, that kind of twisted shell. The horn of plenty and all the riches. And I guess perhaps the creature is, is the kind of the, 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 the kind of animal bit of us that, that just wants to get up and get the riches. It's never going to get there because the wheel is it's sort of turning underneath its feet. But yeah, look, there's a horn of plenty there. So, you know, everything is in play and there's everything to play for. And the fact that the tower is here in the um, veil position suggests to me that there might be some tension today between security and lack thereof. Bottom line... It's, abs it's absolutely pointless. Um, spoiling your day with that juxtaposition and that tension. Because this is where it's at. And as I say, it has its compensations. Um, do I want some... Yeah, I'm going to get a clarifier on this. Ooh, okay, the emperor in the upright. So not only do we feel that things are as they should be, we feel absolutely justified <laughs> and kind of absolutely right in feeling that way. Because we've got the authority here of the emperor. So the tension has just mounted, <laughs> the tension between this part of the reading and this part of the reading has just mounted. Because not only here in the, in the Justice card do we have, well, this is how it should be. We've now backed it up. Well, with the, with this is just how it is. So the contrast with that has just deepened. Oh, my God. Hey-ho, you know, it's up to all of us how we spend our day, isn't it? Um, let me get another one on this. See if we can... Because uh, it's, so, it's so open. It's so up till up top, down till down, down. The Wheel of Fortune. Oh, look. It's the High Priestess in the upright. Come Passion, infinite Shakti compassion. How wonderful! How wonderful! You know, paranormal compassion shining out of this lady. So, we goodness me, we really, really have got um, a kind of this is just sitting in the middle now, the tower, like this. this the, the, the weight of these two sides is increasing as I go on in this reading. And I don't know whether that is making the tower energy more or less powerful. I don't know. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, this is only fear, you see. In the central point here, in card number two in this reading, this is, as I say, the veil what's clouding our vision. So I hope that by having clarified the Wheel of Fortune in all its neutrality, its karmic neutrality, with this infinite, utter and pure compassion of the High Priestess here, it might be a little bit reassuring. <laughs> um, yes, do try to let go and don't worry too much. Let's get one from the swords. <laughs> it's me about worry. Oh, oh dear, oh dear. Um, 
Okay, Nine of Swords. I would like to just point out in this awful scene of um, sort of being awake at, in, the, in the night, like absolutely just ripping yourself up with worry and stress, I would like to just point out that on the bed here and on the back of the figure here and a little bit even onto the shoulders here, there is light. And even if it is, I was gonna, not, I'm not going to say only moonlight, but even if it is moonlight, the moonlight is reflected sunlight. So we are near the end of this this worrying energy and no matter how appalling things look in the middle of the night by morning the appalling nature has um, reduced and even if the thing that we're worrying about in the night is still there in the morning we're equipped in the morning to actually roll our sleeves up and do something about it oh not him again <laughs> page of Wands. that's been simple i think well i know he was there yesterday i think he was there a couple of days ago okay i'm just going to lay him down because he's been a frequent visitor I'm going to lay him down for the time being and pull the rest of the cards. Okay, Ten of Pentacles, Three of Cups, how wonderful. Okay. All right, here in the Page of Wands, we have an appraisal. We have an examination of um, what we have built. And I'm seeing here a, a, a link between the, uh, the mitre of the emperor. I mean, he's not... Oh, right now it does look like he's looking straight at it. Look, he's kind of fucking hell, look at that. Look at the power I hold. And here we've got the page of wands going... Look at that. Look at this. How, how, how powerful is that? <laughs> is it? Isn't it? There is a sense of appraisal, as I say, of what has been built, what has been constructed, what work has been done um, out in the world. And... It looks like, I mean, Nine of Swords, Tower, this is worry and, um, uh, what's it, yeah, catastrophizing, okay, <laughs> catastrophizing. And I would say a wish or a kind of tendency here in the Ten of Pentacles to, to keep it to yourself, not that not the worry and the tension and the catastrophizing, but the 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 spoils of whatever it is that 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 has been built here that you're scared is going to fall to pieces. And you know, wheel of fortune, it, it it could it could all fall to pieces. But we have here the infinite compassion of the high priestess. But yes, I would say share this out. Share it out because in the Three of Cups, we have three figures here. How wonderful. Look, one in white, one in red, and one in white and red. <laughs> okay, they are all equal. Yes. It is not a day to hold back on sharing yourself um and sharing the um the accrued wisdom i would say of your endeavors thus far um it's a day to share it out and to see that in the matter of um 
building and losing, gaining and losing, building and 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 watching things crumble. And um, in the matter of all of that, the ups and the downs, the fortunes rising and the fortunes falling, um, we are all equal. All equal in the face of karma. Right, I'll leave it there. Thank you for watching. Um, please like, please share, please subscribe. And I'll see you again for another reading soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.